One of the key aspects of React that makes it a great solution to build large applications that scale is the component system. Everything in React is a component and you can nest component inside other component to compose your application, sort of like Lego blocks. If we look at our final application, let's try to define what sort of components our app would have. Very clearly, we will have a search or filter component up here. We have a short list component here, that's more uh, obvious once you've got some names in that list. This is a component. We have our names list component, and finally a footer or credit components. So what we will do now is take our names list component that we started and put it inside its own component. Because right now, it is built inside the app.js component. Ultimately, we want our app component to be the wrapping component that contains everything in the final app. And we will, inside that app component, have a filter search, a short list, names list, and credits. So, the first thing I'm going to do is in my SRC folder, create a new folder called components. And inside that component, I will create a new file that I will call nameslist.js. The way you build components with ES6 modules is for each component, each little separate file, you need to import the modules that you need and export them as well to make them available in other files. I will here import React from React. And as a shorthand, because we will use React class components, I can import the named export component from React. Now, let's create a new component class. This is actually the first time we're doing it in the series, so I'll run with it. Class names list, which is the name of our component, extends component. So if we didn't import here the component in curly braces, we would have to use react.component, but because we have it up there, we can access it by a component directly. Each component has, remember, a render method, which inside has a return statement. So if we look at our app.js here, we already have our component code. I will just grab this here, cut it, and put it in our names list. Actually, I can get rid of my empty return statement. All right, let's give it a save. Now, before we can get this to work, we need to export our name list component and import it inside the app.js component up here. So we can use it inside our app.js. We can export default names list. This will make our module accessible from other files. Now if I go in app.js, I can up here import a names list from, and this is a relative path, so current folder slash components slash names list. And now here inside our return statement, Let's just put a div wrapper to make sure we don't hit that problem where we have more than one parent node. And technically, we should be able to render names list with a self-closing tag like this. And it should display the content of our name list, which is a list of names. Now, you might have guessed it, but this is not going to work just then. Let's see if you can figure out why cannot read property map of undefined. So what's going on here? In our names list, we're trying to map through our data. And we're trying to grab our data through this.props. This is the name list component. And the name list component 
doesn't have any props. So to be able to pass our data from our index.js into app and then app into names list, we need to add a prop here, data, and we will pass this that props that data. Name list is now passing this that props that data, which is this property on the app folder. So it'll pass this data, which is our list of names, through all the way into the name list component. So now, if I go in here in my name list, I can console log. We should see the data here, data. And let's give it a refresh. Now we should have the data undefined. Huh. You know what? I actually haven't saved the file. This is as silly as that. So let's give it a save and check again. Sure enough, now we can see the data here and it's available and our names list component is showing. The big difference though is instead of having everything in our app.js, now we have a nice little names list component pulled inside our app. And uh, ultimately we'll have a credit component self-closed, which would be the footer of our app here. Our main app component will look like a really nice little tight little bundle, which kind of declares how the app is working. There's a name list component here, so you can very quickly up the top see that it's in components, names list, go check that out. And it allows you to encapsulate the markup and the logic and even styles if you want inside each of the components which makes it, as the application grows, very, very easy to reason about and uh, maintain your code base.